Back to the world of Beast Wars once more for this week's episode, as we look at the basics on the heroic Maximal who heeds the call of the wild, Tigatron. The original Tigatron toy was first released in 1996 as part of the first year of the Beast Wars toy line. A recolor of the Maximal Cheetor, the initial idea for the figure was for it to turn into a regular orange and black tiger, but the finished toy instead used the colours of a Siberian white tiger. Like many early Beast Wars toys, Tigatron had two heads, a normal robot head and a biomechanical mutant head. Since Cheetor's package art and photography had showcased him with the robot head, Tigatron featured the mutant head to distinguish him but the robot head was used for his appearance in the Beast Wars cartoon. In the show, Tigatron began life as an embryonic robot called a protoform, one of many stored in stasis pods aboard the maximal starship Axelon. Charged with pursuing a gang of Predacon criminals back in time, the Axelon wound up crashing on prehistoric Earth and jettisoned its cache of stasis pods as it fell. One pod landed in the frozen north, where it scanned a tiger to serve as an alternate mode for the protoform within, and brought it online as Tigatron. However, Tigatron's identity circuits had been damaged in the crash. In his soul, he felt he was more beast than bot, and so chose to live in the wild with his tiger friend Snowstalker, rather than with the other Maximals at their base. Still, he remained a reliable warrior and friend, solitary, noble, spiritually connected to nature. He had a rapport with fellow big cat Cheetor, and often worked with Air Razor, with whom he would eventually fall in love. Though famously, this romance unfolded a little differently in the goofy Japanese dub of the series, which reimagined Tigatron as a samurai and Air Razor as his young male ward, making the Japanese version of the couple the first instance of a gay relationship in Transformers media. Shogi's adventures for Tigatron in the series saw him discover a floating island created by the mysterious alien race, the Vok help the other Maximals learn to control themselves when their beast mode instincts overwhelmed them, and have to deal with Snowstalker's death after she was caught in the crossfire of a battle between him and the Predacon Inferno. The grief-stricken Tigatron initially vowed he would never fight again, but solemnly chose to take up arms once more when he realised that refusing to fight only left the wilderness he loved open to being further harmed by the Predacons. After Tigatron's toy was discontinued in mid-1997, he was phased out of the show during its second season, when he and Air Razor were abducted by the Vok and disappeared into space. They would return, after a fashion, in the third season in 1999, when the Vok removed their sparks and fused their bodies together to create Tigerhawk, a winged tiger with the power to control the elements, to summon earthquakes, lightning, tornadoes and more. Two Vok possessed this body and headed for Earth to punish the Predacon leader Megatron for his attempts to alter history, but the aliens were forced out of Tigerhawk by Predacon scientist Tarantulus, allowing Tigatron and Air Razor's disembodied sparks to fuse into one and retake possession of the body. Reborn as a singular, composite being, Tigerhawk rejoined the Maximals, but sadly, two episodes later, Megatron used the firepower of the ancient Decepticon warship the Nemesis to destroy him. Tigerhawk's sudden death was because Hasbro had briefly decided to cancel the release of his toy. They changed their minds, but by then it was too late to change the cartoon, and so the Tigerhawk toy wound up hitting shelves several months after the show had already killed off the character. Still, this wasn't the end of Tigatron's story, which was continued by the official Transformers convention BotCon in 2001, where a new transmetal toy of Tigatron, a recolor of the Japanese Beast Wars Ravage figure, was exclusively released. The figure was accompanied by a comic book, which revealed that Tigerhawk's spark had been saved by the Vok after his death. 
Following the events of Beast Wars, they split the spark back into Tigatron and Airazor, and resurrected the pair in new bodies to continue the alien's mission to defend the time stream. Stories published over the next few years followed the Vok empowered Tigatron as he opposed the schemes of Tarantulas, then returned to Cybertron and joined the Wreckers to deal with the Quintessons and Megatron's mentor Cryotech. Other comics concurrently published by Botcon would also feature Razor Claw, a recolor of the Tigerhawk toy released in the Transformers Universe line in 2003, an alternate universe incarnation of the character who had fallen under the power of the dark god Unicron. Botcon would go on to release a few more toys of Tigatron, which reimagined the character with vehicle modes. One in 2006, a retool and recolor of the Transformers Cybertron Clocker figure, and another in 2016, a retool of the Combiner Wars Breakdown figure based on his Transmetal toy, which could merge with other Combiner Wars toys to form giant robots like the mighty Magnaboss. Comics released alongside these toys retcon Tigatron's story presenting him as having had a life on Cybertron before the Beast Wars. He was depicted as a member of the Maximal Command Security Force on Cybertron, whose body had been fatally damaged when he attempted to stop Megatron leaving the planet, and whose spark had been transferred into a new protoform, saving his life at the cost of all his memories, so as not to conflict with his depiction in the Beast Wars cartoon. Outside of Botcon, Tigatron wasn't revisited by new Transformers series very often during these years, with just a few appearances and toys here and there, including a high-end figure in the collector-targeted Masterpiece line based directly on his Beast Wars cartoon design, and a recurring role in the comedy manga Transformers Legends, which reimagined the Beast Wars characters as office workers and cast Tigatron in the unflattering role of a pervy otaku obsessed with female Transformers. Most notably, in 2015, Tigatron joined the world of IDW Publishing's comic books, which reinvented him and Airazor as inhabitants of the Cybertronian colony planet Eucharis. Eucharis was home to a society of beast mode transformers divided into rival tribes. Tigatron and Airazor had been forced to leave their tribes in order to be together, their forbidden love making them outcasts among their people. But when Cybertron re-established contact with its colonies, the pair were chosen to serve as Eucharis's delegates on the Interplanetary Council of Worlds, their tribeless status making them the most unbiased representatives the planet had. In celebration of Beast Wars 25th anniversary, the series cast returned to the spotlight in 2021's Kingdom toy line. A new figure of Tigatron was released in this line, ensuring the character a role in Netflix's tie-in animated series, a new take on the Beast Wars story that saw the Maximals team up with the Autobots to search prehistoric Earth for the life-giving Allspark. The Kingdom toy was also available recolored in the orange and black Tiger Deco that had once been planned for Tigatron's original toy, and retooled to replace his regular head with the original figure's mutant head. This mutant Tigatron hailed from an alternate version of the Beast Wars cartoon universe, where a quantum surge of Vok energy had wiped Tigatron's mind and mutated him into a savage, aggressive beast. Though temporarily manipulated into serving the scheming Predacon Terror Sore, Tigatron eventually regained his memories and travelled back in time to prevent his mutation from ever happening. Through death and rebirth, love and loss, darkness and light, retcons, reimaginings, alternate universes and more, Tigatron has walked many different paths. But as he himself once said, Let the trails lead where they may. I will follow. And those are the basics on Tigatron. If you've enjoyed this dive into Transformers history and lore, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more. And remember to click the bell to be notified about future episodes, or get early access to new videos by supporting the series on Patreon.